So, your game got leaked before launch. It happens to the best of us, Sakurai. We all feel your pain. We love you, Masahiro Sakurai. If you haven't heard yet, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate had seven new characters leaked by a seemingly real picture of a banner from a French packaging company. It also had some new models of the upcoming movie, The Grinch, which makes people think it is an automatic confirmation. This is deemed the Grinch leak, which is why you see it all over YouTube if you even care about it, or maybe possibly the internet, why it's called the Grinch leak and you see a picture of a stupid green guy. It was also posted in Snapchat to make matters worse. The camera compression is terrible, so that's probably why the thing is, people are thinking it's fake. The real reason that this is bad, obviously, our second coming of Christ hasn't confirmed us with this being real, as he slaves every day working on the next Smash Bros. to come. It could also be that his huge reveal for said characters is now less hyped than him making trailers and posting them on a Nintendo Direct. But, you know, humans are, uh, yeah. Now, this leak isn't 100% confirmed until our baby boy Sakurai confirms it for us, or until the game comes out, but considering it's about 99.99% confirmed as of right now. Most leakers put no effort into other leaks, and this one looks like the most promising one, you know? There are a lot of bad leakers who just say Minecraft Steve will be a character with Goku and Naruto. There's a lot of like other things that are just obvious that it's not going to be there. But there is a 0.01% chance of this banner leak, Grinch leak, being fake. And it could possibly even be a Nintendo planted leak or even a Ubisoft leak. Now, I haven't made a slideshow, but I have conducted this amazing script here and let's just talk about it this is why i'm gonna debunk this this grinch leak right heckin now bro okay so some of us have heard about nintendo and all of france becoming allies with this XCOM game called mario and rabbids whatever with both miyamoto and eves which is the ceo of ubisoft miyamoto is the Working side by side, this could literally have been fabricated by Eves himself. Now, I know, it might sound crazy, a little conspiracy, got my tinfoil hat on, but hey. The Grinch leak is in French. Ubisoft is French. The headquarters is in Montreal. How do I know Ubisoft is French? Simply Google it, okay? The headquarters for the company lies deep in the jungle of baguettes and mimes. You may be thinking... It could have been a lie, right? Like, they, Nintendo could have lied and put these characters in here just so you could, like, be like, wow, what, what the heck? Is Sakurai stupid? No, I would never say that. But, also, I don't think Reggie fils -Ami would ever allow Nintendo to lie in such a way as his heart is way too big for that kind of stuff. He wouldn't want to steer fans in such a way for the leak to be faked by Ubisoft, but Miyamoto... Just looking at Miyamoto himself, he's seen some shit. All it takes is a glance and you know he's been through something. Another piece of evidence I have for the Grinch leak to be fake and that Ubisoft planted this picture is the fact that one of the directors for the Grinch, specifically Scott Mosier, Mosher, uh, pfft, rip, is Canadian American, okay? Now. That's not French, obviously. He was born in Vancouver, Washington. But Vancouver is a place in Canada, which leads us to our next point. When searching Canadian language in Google, we get some very interesting results. The first language to pop up when typing in these last few dreaded words, dare to read French. This brings us full circle to the fact that the Smash League and France as a whole is in on this. This could be the case for a bait and switch, pun intended, maneuver. Since the Switch Dynasty of Nintendo is upon us, I have dusted off my history books and noticed that the original ally of Nintendo is Ubisoft. Obviously, the Switch Dynasty. Microsoft is trying to get their paws in some Nintendo, and even grope in Nintendo a little bit. And even saying that Nintendo's IPs are amazing, Phil Spencer. 
This could shed some light on the Grinch leak being true because of Banjo Kazooie being seen in the banner, but in my eyes, I see it as Phil Spencer trying to get himself in Smash Ultimate in some form, even if it's just a me or something. He wants a stupid DLC character with his haircut and his jacket. <sighs> After uh, looking at that Snapchat thing with the uh, the few French words in it, I did some intense Rosetta Stone reading, and I finally figured out that the Snapchat Grinch leak says F Nintendo, LOL. Uh, I went on Urban Dictionary because Google doesn't want to tell me because apparently it's a slang. I don't speak France, so if this all was fabricated by Ubisoft himself, this was a very bold move from Eves himself, as he just started his career with Nintendo, probably getting mad at the fact that instead of his coveted Rayman getting into Smash, we got King K. Rule instead. Which brings me to my next point of Phil Spencer. He begrudgingly let go of some famous characters like Donkey Kong, Dixie Kong, Diddy Kong, the Kremlings, the fat one, King K. Rule, you know. Both Phil and Eves has a tug of war match between a one on one match of pulling rope, strength, technique, and just everything to add their character to Super Smash Brothers. Phil Spencer, King K. Rule, Rareware. Microsoft and Rareware are together, and Rareware are Rayman and Eves together. Ubisoft, they're pulling at each other. Phil Spencer himself looks way stronger than Eves. Not to say that Eves is anything else. Like, there's nothing wrong with Eves, okay? It's just that, in general, Phil Spencer does look a little bit more meatier, if you know what I'm saying. It was an intense match of tug of war, but Eves' sex appeal was way too low in this matchup when he earlier duoed with Shigeru Miyamoto last year for Mario and Rabbids. Bro, too, like, I don't know what to say, man. It's just, you showed too much ankle that time. That about does it. Uh, this basically debunks all of it as it was a plant by Ubisoft and Nintendo working together. Uh, you know, it's a little bit too suspicious in my eyes. But Super Smash Bros. comes out on December 7, 2018, meaning that there's only 42 more days left until we see our real final roster, as because Eve's is a little slippery little... Yeah, fingers crossed to our resident mime Eves, and let's hope Sakurai still has his lovely locks in the next Smash Direct because of all this stress he's going through. Leaks are high, morales are high, except for our boy Sakurai. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it, baby. I'm outie.